is going on guys it is finally time i am so 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 sorry how long it's taken me to get to this side quest it's crazy because i have vivian so i really want to go into this story and i'm pretty sure a lot of you have skipped it that's what the whole series is about so you can skip we are going to unwind this story see how relevant it is to the actual current storyline of the game see if there's any crossover or anything like that see where she actually lies and maybe her comrades if they're in there for some reason so let's read the lovely description with her impressive magical ability vivian won the title of city lord but it seems that her fellow sorcerers are unwilling to accept someone with such humble beginnings in the face of rising disdain and mystery vivian's battle begins and it's called an up hill battle and since they are saying that she's coming from humble beginnings i'm assuming that she's gonna have like some really really rugged beginnings i don't know how much they'll actually go into that but it seems like she went from rags to riches so let's let's go in there and we'll see as much as i can uncover i record a lot of footage for this but i'm gonna try to cut it down probably to like 15 minutes maybe 20 please forgive me for how long it is but i don't want to leave anything out especially for a brand new character that we've never seen before so we are in the city of sorcerers witch haven which is like kind of weird never seen this before and she's the only bonus unit here so this is like super new like nobody else is, seems to be interacting with this so far character story an uphill battle let's go guys so it seems that we're literally starting right off of where the description said we are starting off right at the point where she becomes the city lord so we're getting thrown right into the fray i'm expecting some flashbacks dissatisfied sorcerer they could have established this through dialogue, but they was like, let's just put it in the title. Pissed off patron, angry, <laughs> angry person in the room, resigned to, you were there, you saw her win. What are you, <laughs> what are you complaining about? All right, I'm going to stop reading those little summary when they recap, because they just say the same thing within like two seconds of you reading the actual story. All right, so here we go. Her first job as a city lord is to patrol the city. So it sounds like she's like the, the, the mayor I'm getting. That's the, the vibe I'm getting as a city lord, the mayor, or maybe this is as big as a state, or hell, it could be like an entire country and she's like the president. We don't, I really don't know. Hey, Wester, assistant to the high sorcerers. When I was living with my grandmother, uh-oh, are we already going in the past? Oh my, we might be going with, uh, this is funny because this is reminding me of a story from Shadowverse where the monsters around the area are actually possibly failed experiments. High sorcerers summon all kinds of monsters for magical experiments. And after an experiment, they just release their unwanted subjects outside. That is absolutely terrible. All right, so they're finishing up their first little patrol. The high sorcerers run this city. They're the center and power of this city, so no one can stop them no matter what they do. I don't know. She looks kind of broken. <laughs> she might be able to do something. Oh, so she's going to go back there, and she's going to hold a meeting, probably talking about this, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to go well. Now we got Rango. He's not animated. This guy looks interesting, though. This is Santana. He looks really cool. I wouldn't even mind him as like a boss character, but eventually a character you can summon for. He, his design looks really cool. Annoyed Sorcerer. So pretty much he brings up the accusations, which they technically are. She has really no proof that the High Sorcerers are summoning, just that Wester kid told her that. And then she's like, oh, they did that? And then she gathered a meeting with them, which technically I could see why they might be annoyed by that. She has no proof that this is happening. Let's see what she says. Yeah, so pretty much they're like, the monsters aren't a problem for those that are strong enough to take out the monsters. It's no big deal. But I'm assuming the citizens, the people probably of less magical capability, are having a hard time probably dealing with the monsters. And now they're just telling her, you know, you're new to the job, so let me catch you up to speed. This is what happens. We do magical experiments. This is a normal occurrence. It's kind of like they almost feel like a mafia or something like that. And Vivian comes in, like, actually trying to uphold the law. And it's like, yo, we do crooked cop stuff all day. Like, what do you... What are, you, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do here? Nice little criticism of where she grew up. I like it. Nice little disrespect. Oh, this, this bitch. <laughs> They're disrespecting her straight to her face. Damn, yo, Rango, why? Why you do that, Rango? <laughs> Pretty much he asked her, like, you know, if this is such a problem, how do you plan to solve it then if this is such a problem? Vivian just says, well, I was thinking that we could talk it over. And she's like, uh, but my man Rango's like, but no one agrees with you, <laughs> so... Rip. I expected it to be able to run the city on their own. Mm, they are ripping her apart. Triple dots, ladies and gentlemen. Triple dots. And he's gone. And he's gone. <laughs> All right. We are currently in the past. And whenever you see like this weird tint, that means that we're in the past. Nine times out of ten. 
you know, I'm a professional lore expert, okay? So yeah. And I pretty much skipped over everything. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Pretty much, it was a girl's voice and a boy's voice. The girl's voice is hers. The boy's voice is probably someone that we'll find out later, but someone just encouraging her that she should not be ashamed of where she's grown up from, which is the reoccurring theme. I thought I had moved on. Maybe that boy died. Uh-oh. You were the one who left me. You said you'd be back. Liar, you shouldn't have promised me anything. Oh, we're, we're like, we got the city lord troubles and we got some some old school flashback drama. What is it, a throwback Thursdays? <laughs> what, what is today? Today's month, Wednesday though. Is there is there like a throwback thing for Wednesdays? Oh, we got sexy hot intelligence guy, We Woodrow. I know some of you ladies like the, the intelligent with the glass. I'm about to have glasses soon. This is irrelevant to the story. I just thought I'd let you know. Uh-oh. So this does have something to do with the story. I'm not sure, but I believe he's a stranger. His name was Straz. Or is it Straz? I always forget. Or something like that. Anyway, he said you should come see him if you want to save the city. Is she going to be our enemy? Oh, no. Uh-oh, guys. Here we go. What's with all these soldiers? Oh, my man Straz. He came in with the gang, gang, gang. <laughs> This is you more formally, but as you can see, your city is too small for my troops. Oh, he was gonna stroll up. He's gonna roll up on her. Ah, uh, yeah, she's smart. Are you saying you have planned to invade my city? She knows what's up. No way. I have no intention of wasting my energy on somewhere so small. More, most importantly, I called you here so that you could see for yourself the gravity of your current situation. I'm sure you saw countless monsters on your way here, and you've likely never seen some of them before. Okay, so he's just explaining the chaos gates. Let's see if he, let's see if Straz is gonna like try to lie or is he, you know, actually gonna try to help her with the city. I'm, I'm very curious because he lied to the other guy, the firebender guy. He pretty much lied to him. So I'm assuming he's gonna lie to Vivian. Ooh, Vivian's not, not with the shits. She is not with the shits. As expected, the humans here are as stupid as anywhere. Dang, shots. Oh, super shots. What the? I'm not even using my full strength. She'll be fine. <laughs> no, she's not. You're a world-ending god killer. She's not a god. He's struggling against my weakest attack. If you can't lift a finger against even this, what will you be able to do defending yourself without my help? Dang. I mean, that's how you show. That's like evil villain number one. Okay, so she knows he's dangerous. Cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this side story stalling. Oh, I'll let her go for now, so we can uh get you to play a couple more stages. <laughs> And he doesn't want to see this. He just called the city small, but why does he care if it gets destroyed or not? Interesting. He's trying to like, what do they call it? Like king the city? He's trying to conquer pretty much the city for some reason. He's trying to convert her. Finally, we're back. Had to do all that farming. Woo. All right, we're back. Let's see where we're at right now. I think Vivian's passed out right now. <laughs> I think. So these two know each other, interesting enough. And this character's passing rumors around. I hope he did. Oh, Wester doesn't turn out to be like a... Like working for straws, spreading misinformation. Where do you get all your information from? Yeah, I'm a little suspicious. The stranger said it would keep monsters away from the tower. This is the same situation that happened to the other guy. It worked when he showed us. <laughs> so yeah, it's seeming like he put up a tower that's like slowly destroying the city or slowly messing with people's minds and stuff like that over time. Now, interesting enough, Wester's asking, how does the Crystal Towers actually work? And Woodrow is saying, I can't tell you, it would be too complicated to tell you, which probably means that he knows that it's probably uh, bad. <laughs> oh, already this late? I better get going. I'm busy for it. Yeah, he knows it's bad. Oh, now Vivian's curious about it too. Now, yeah, it's like, don't worry about it. So what's going to probably happen, my, my little predictions, I'm trying to guess as it goes, is that they're gonna blame they're gonna figure out that the, the crystal tower is bad mojo and then it's gonna go south and then she's either gonna lose her job as the the city lord or they're just gonna blame her for what happens with it all right so now vivian has appointed wester and woodrow or woodrow sorry as uh, as her personal assistants oh seems like the monsters may not be going into the city but they're definitely around the city she's gonna try to ban the high sorcerers from performing greater summoning magic that's not gonna go over well even he's like what all right guys here we go meeting number two we got rango and what is this zatan i forgot his name yeah last time you told me to go with my own idea oh she's she's back with spunk yeah zantana i was right so she is explaining the situation to them and of course they Still giving her that smack. Here it comes. I propose temporarily forbidding the use of greater summoning magic. Here it goes. 
Excuse me? That's the solution came out with forbidding magical experiments. I like how the annoyed sorcerer is just the same person. Like no matter what, he that's just <laughs> that person can never ever have a change of heart. He's an annoyed sorcerer forever. This is it. If I can't practice summoning magic anymore, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Read a book. I'm in Matona City recently, and it appears that the monsters released after these experiments with summoning magic are wandering around and disrupting the citizens. And to make matters worse, the new monsters from and to make matters worse, new monsters from are yeah okay the sentence is butchered it's not just me to make matters worse new monsters from are coming in from the chaos gate as well okay sometimes you know i, I I'm, I'm pretty stupid so but you know it's nice when you know someone else is kind of stupid and makes a mistake too <laughs> maybe vivian's this is probably why they don't take her seriously she can't speak right <laughs> So lesser summoning magic is still available, but they cannot do the big summoning magic. I wish, I think if she, yeah, so I'm not doing it forever, but she should have gave them a time limit. I think that would have been a little bit better. Everything comes down to birth. Oh, we about to get it. It's about to happen. Excuse me. The city lord of the great witch haven couldn't control her own city and borrow power from a stranger. Here it goes. And apparently that's not enough for her. Now she wants to ban magical experiments. Do you even hear yourself? It's no wonder she's from a humble family. <laughs> they just keep using the same terminology. She's not capable of thinking on a larger scale. Tiss, tiss. This is exactly how, why we should consider one's birth when appointing a leader. How can you say something like that? Are we wrong? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this is so much disrespect. Wow, and then he's doing the classic. This is like the classic in the movies or in, in television. Like, does anyone agree with this? And like, of course, no one's gonna agree, but she's the authority figure, so she should be respected. But I cannot, I cannot agree to this nonsense. Banning so many magic is absurd. Are you trying to undo all progress the city has made? Another thing that this side story has not done is show why they're doing it in the first place. So we don't even know if so many magic is actually a bad thing. The way that this guy is talking, it makes it seem as though so many magic is something that actually benefits the city. So for her to ban it would sound really weird to them as well. So I, I can't even say that they're being jerks. They probably are probably really concerned that she's trying to ban something that might actually be a normal process in the city. Unless they were out of their mind. Look at that concerned sorcerer so okay she might have one that but what if she's right if the chaos gates appeared as a result of our experiments but we i think as the reader as the, as the viewer as a you know as the lore us in the lore category we kind of know that's not true the chaos gates should have nothing to do with the summoning experiments technically they shouldn't because that would be weird because the chaos gates pop up in places not completely that have nothing to do with where she's at you know we wouldn't have done any such experiment that ignorant little girl is trying to frame us oh god uh oh, she's she's staying her words. She's trying to pull out, and this is final on these people right now. Wow! So they're gonna challenge her to a duel. If they beat her, and they said uh, he says us, I don't know how many of them is they're gonna fight just Vivian. <laughs> so he gets bopped. So they're just summoning like monsters straight up to fight her. Cool. So they're not really fighting her. Her their experiments are fighting her. Gotcha. Kind of like why you don't see them animated. He looks like a cool character, though. All of his disciples have been studying the same or practicing this exact summoning magic. It's not like it's going to rip into her past. Maybe well, we're about to find out. Because she got triggered by that for some reason, by the monster that she saw. So let's see. It should be if I maybe we'll see a monster. No, it's still these little mages. This is a cool design. And she killed it. But there, those, those little mages are a really cool design. Oh, okay, so I guess we don't get to see the monster. Unfortunate. And he loses too. <laughs> the red screen of death. Always oh, oh, such a weak. Wait, did she kill him? Yo, Vivian, calm down. Man, the classic. Let's fight for it. And if she would have lost, she probably would have abided by it. But the fact that she won, he's still not going to do it. Okay, he didn't die. All right, she's gonna get a little backbone. I respect it. And here it is. I command you as city lord. As discussed, I hereby ban the practice of greater summoning magic indefinitely. Anyone who is caught practicing greater summoning magic will be severely punished. Furthermore, this council populated by traitors who defy the official orders of their city lord is no longer necessary. 
I declared the dissolution of this council. So she is now going to rule. That's actually kind of dictatorish, <laughs> but she, it's just going to be everyone you see on the screen currently who's going to be running this city. That is my closing statement. We will end here today. To be fair, I, I wouldn't want those people around either, except that, what was it, the concerned sorcerer? <laughs> that person seemed, uh, you know, willing to listen. See, I see some of them may agree with you. True. And that's going to be the end of the uphill battle. All right, guys. So let's do a lovely recap like I normally do. So first off, Vivian becomes the city lord, which seems as though she is like some high, highly respected political figure. She got it despite her upbringing. And of course, she's going to have some people within her council that are against that. Meets up with Straz. Straz is too strong for her to handle. He pretty much manipulates or forces or whatever word you'd like to call it and puts up a crystal tower, which is a tower very similar to another character's story where there was, he put up a tower. It was clearly damaging the city and doing and manipulating the creatures and the people around them. Now she has the same crystal tower in her own city. And of course her council, her members or whatever the hell they're called, don't like the fact that she's using the help of strangers that makes it seem as she is weak. She cannot resolve any conflicts or solutions on her own. So then they're revolting against her they revolt against her. She actually beats them in a battle as requested from them. And then they're like, yeah, whatever. I guess we'll listen to you. And then she's like, you know what? You won't have to listen to me. <laughs> I'm just going to disband this whole council. So now it's her, Woodrow, and Wester. So it's just them three. And I guess they're going to be running the city. Now she did ban summoning to try to see if it has any correlations with the Chaos Gates. I'm assuming we know as a viewer that that is not a correlation. It might be like the Chaos Gates might be influenced by it or something of that nature. Like they might be getting stronger based on that. And they also showed that Vivian had some type of trigger to when Zatanna summoned something. Like she was like, oh, you're the one that does it. You're the traitor. But it's weird. There just should be no traitors or anything. Maybe he's creating a certain type of monster that she doesn't like. So that was very weird. She needs more backstory, but the next story that's coming into the game is going to be this Rengar's uh, Full Moon Festival. So we're going to have to wait until Vivian comes into the actual storyline in the regular story so we can get more information on how far this goes. Is she got screwed over by Straz? Is Straz actually using her city as a stronghold, maybe potentially, or just like a resting place or something? All that is still yet to be revealed but still pretty interesting at the same time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned a lot. I think that this was very interesting, but of course very short. It, so Vivian does meet Straz and that's about it. So she also knows who he is, which is good. So if any other normal cast runs into Vivian, they'll at least have something to say and have some conversations about it. But she also knows his strength, which is very scary. So she might, you might have to fight her. I'm thinking we're gonna have to fight Vivian uh, in the future. But anyway, what you won't have to fight is the fact that every day in the casino is your lucky day and i will see you guys in the next video peace